Hi, I'm Tim. In this video, join me. I'll be joined by Ann here, a safety expert. A very important safety feature for we should all be using for our RC model airplanes, the throttle cut function. Super easy. Let's get to it. We all need to be concerned with safety when we fly our RC model aircraft. And one of the things that we need to be aware of with our electric power models, the engines can start at any time when they see batteries. With the gas engines, it had to be a little bit more deliberate process. Sometimes they started accidentally. But with these models, if there's any increase in the throttle stick position, the battery's connected, everything's working, that prop could start up very unexpectedly. And oftentimes what happens, we'll put our hand out to stop it. There'll be cutting of the hands. You can find pictures on the internet of these prop injuries. <clears throat> I, I will just show you one here. They're serious. They oftentimes involve trips to the emergency room. And what I'd like to show you with the throttle cut function is a super easy way to prevent this accident from happening. Because the danger of a throttle stick being, and by the way, we'll be using the Pronto. You saw that on the introduction. It's one of my favorite airplanes designed by Dave Roblin in 1972. And I have a full video on building this from start to finish. If you've never built a plane from plans, do try the Pronto. It's just a very easy build. So what we'll do is I'll use this Pronto and my Spectrum DX6 radio. I'll talk about some features of the DX6. They may vary slightly with different brands of radio, but the overall thinking is the same on throttle cut. So the first thing that's built into the radio is anytime you plug in the battery, I turn on the transmitter first to ensure this is down, then I plug in the battery. So let me turn on the transmitter with a throttle stick all the way down. Absolutely normal, nothing to worry about. Now let's say your first flight of the day, you took the transmitter out of your box, your car, and the throttle is part way up for whatever reason you bumped it, doesn't matter why. When we turn on the um, transmitter, you'll hear the little voice in there telling you the throttle is high. Again, this is why I turn on the transmitter first. Warning, throttle high. Okay. So when that's down, everything's fine. And then what would happen is if we didn't catch that throttle in the mid position, we plugged in the battery, the engine would start right up. And that would, it will absolutely catch it by surprise. Nothing good will come out of that. So let's talk about the throttle cut feature. What the throttle cut feature is, and this is applicable to most computer-based radios, we can take one of the many switches that we have available and through settings of the computer radio, when it's in one position, the throttle will not work. When it's in the other position, the throttle works. That, in a nutshell, is what throttle cut does. So what I do in my radio, and you'll have to make a choice on yours, I don't use a lot of these switches because I fly fairly simple models. The most complex ones I have, the ARFs with flaps and retractable gear, I put the flaps on here because this is a three-position switch. And it's fairly easy to feel because it's long and thin. And then the gear is on this one right here. Got to gear down and gear up. So what I'm going to do is use this switch over here that I never use for anything. I'm going to assign this to be the throttle cutoff. Notice on the spectrum, each switch has a letter. This is F. And the O and the I inhibit and on, those are the two functions of the switch. So the way I'm going to set it up is when the switch is down, and the battery's plugged in, the throttle does not work. When the switch is up, now the throttle will work. We'll demonstrate this here in a moment. So what you just have to do is discipline yourself. When you're done with the flight, before you start your engine, make sure the throttle cut switch is down. That way you minimize the danger of this accidentally being up, or you may drop the transmitter. Somebody may bump into you. There's a, many reasons this can be bumped up. The throttle will not work. You put it on the runway, you step back behind the fence, you're all set to fly, and then the throttle will work. 
So I've powered up the Pronto. Um, I turned on the transmitter first. I plugged in the battery because we're in the shop. I want the battery hanging outside just so I know that that's hooked up. I've angled the plane a little bit towards the wall if something crazy happens. So the radio is on, throttle is low, cutoff is in the cutoff position, the down position. Notice the controls work, but with a throttle, when I move that up, nothing happens. Throttle's down. The uh, throttle cut switch is on the um, um, on position, and notice the motor works with that up. We flip that down after our landing, and the motor doesn't work. In a nutshell, that's what a throttle cut does. It's a wonderful safety feature. It doesn't cost you anything. It's built into your transmitter, and it could prevent an accident from an unexpected prop start. So let's take a moment next, and I'll show you how to program the DX6. It's super easy. Your radio may vary a little bit, but let's take a look at the DX6. We have turned on our transmitter, the Pronto, the timer is just from earlier on. Everything's normal right there. And, and the plane is unplugged, so there's no danger of the prop starting up. What we do with the DX6 is with the scroll wheel, we press it down once. <clears throat> that takes us to what is called a function list with the spectrum. Notice here is the throttle cut. It's just right on that initial menu. So we go to throttle cut, Press the switch once. This is the throttle cut menu. So what will happen to you have throttle cut. Here's a throttle up here. The position is negative 100% per the instruction manual. You're going to have to experiment a little bit, whether it's negative or positive. That's why you want to do it in the shop. And this little switch here, off and inhibit. Notice a little black square underneath. That is indicating of the switch position. There's the O position and the inhibit, if you can see that little black square. So we've set it up to the inhibit, the throttle cut is on, and here it's off. So notice when the throttle uh, cut is in the inhibit position, we move the throttle, there is no movement of the throttle scroll bar. When we turn this back on, in other words, we're ready to fly, notice how that moves and it goes up to 100%. So that's another indication on this radio how the throttle cut works. The switch is positioned F on this radio. Excuse me. You can just go here and pick any switch you want. Just be super careful. You know which switch you're using. And then um, experiment uh, with, with, with the battery plugged in and the prop safely away. So that, that is how you set it up. That's all you need to do. So that's what you do for the throttle cut um, function. It's very easy to use. It's a, it's a good safety practice to get into. Just remember to put it to the cut position after every flight. Take your model out, battery on, all connected. On the runway, you flip that switch up. It's just another layer of protection so that you don't hurt yourself from an inadvertent engine startup.